another episode of Drawing Comics, Conan, Part 11. What are you looking at right here? This is Conan the Barbarian. It's an amazing comic book done by John Buscema. Um, we have been going through all the pages and um, drawing each panel one by one, learning from this legendary artist. I highly recommend you check out the first stream of Drawing Comics, where I talk about John Buscema and give you guys a five-minute uh, reel, movie reel about John Buscema, his life growing up, all the way leading up to um, him working in Marvel with just beautiful examples of his work, stuff that hasn't been posted, stuff that hasn't been published as well, and just a rundown of like all of his amazing accomplishments in comics. I'm your host, I will be showing you guys some work as well, previously that we've been doing. This is also in the coloring comic stream where I use watercolor to color the panels. I'm just learning from this amazing artist. And we'll be continuing on today. where we left off was Conan getting caught by a cult leader. He was, um, he was trying to infiltrate their little weird meeting by dressing up as one of one of the robed figures. But then he got caught and this is the action scene right here. So I'm just going to continue on from there. Things are going to get pretty, pretty heavy. This is the perfect opportunity to remind you guys of a drawing tactic to help improve accuracy, to help you uh, pay more attention to detail. And that's something that I mention very frequently. It is recognizing the space difference between objects. So in this example, we got the finger of the guard and we want to make sure that we leave the we have the speech bubble and it is accurately placed to ensure that it fits in so we're, we're looking at what's the ga the gap this is what i was talking about the space between two objects how big is that gap how big is that space between them not very and that kind of helps you um see where the placement is 
for what you're drawing. It helps to ensure that everything fits in accordingly. tell you guys how many times that has worked so well in terms of getting accuracy of whatever it is that I was drawing. It's a very helpful tool. So some announcement, there was an announcement that I wanted to make on this stream as well. I did it in a previous stream, but for those of you just tuning in, I will be changing the hours just because I want to um, have more time for each stream. So rather than doing like an hour of this stream and then switching over, um, I'm going to be doing two hours for each stream and changing it to only uh, 8 p.m. So Monday, for example, would be drawing basics from 8 till 10. Tuesday will be drawing comics from 8 until 10. Wednesday's project stream from 8 until 10, and Thursday is gonna be drawing, uh, coloring comics from 8 until 10. That's probably going to be the case for a little bit, for a while, um, until I have more time available. But this will also ensure that um, I spend more time with each stream because usually I get into it you know if I get into let's say this stream and I'm like really um, going through the panels and really getting into each scene and then all of a sudden it's you know time's up just when I was developing the character as well I have to end the stream and start the next one two hours for each stream and get some pretty good results, especially for the project stream. And I barely get anything done there. Like the moment I start to really get into the project, it's time to end the stream. So stick around. I'm going to be doing more 
text-based updates on Twitter. So sign up for that. Or um, I'm also going to be posting updates in other social media as well. If you're not a fan of Twitter, which I understand. I am looking for an alternative as well to it. For political reasons. I will also actually be doing a fifth stream. So the week is going to be full of different streams. Um, we'll be making announcements about that sometime soon. Stick around for that. And it's actually going to be a really exciting stream. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll grow. And it'll be a great way for you guys to participate and be part of the stream. This is going to be a really challenging one for inking. But we've done smaller detail. Right, y'all? You saw it. Tiny little faces in the background still managed to get the inks done correctly.
What's up with pretzel today? Playing lullabies, playing uh, chipmunk songs. Come on. I mean, I like chill, but not that chill. That was a little. Chill. I'll say this, it's coming out way better than what looked when we first started the stream. I'm liking how it's coming out. only problem that I have I'm thinking about this as I'm streaming it's just the only issue I got with the new schedule that's gonna happen that's gonna go into effect either tomorrow or this, this coming week um, is I would like to stream drawing basics more just because I don't think that once a week is really great for people who are just learning to draw. I would like to have the encouragement there more frequently because you need to draw at least like three times a week to really see some results, to get into it as well, you know, like get into the mood each time, get into the rhythm of drawing because that is half the battle, if not the biggest battle is just getting, um, just sitting down and doing it. If you guys are part of the other streams, I did like a little um, YouTube video of Shia LaBeouf talking about just doing it. You know, just do it. Don't think about it. Don't wait for inspiration. Don't wait to... Um, Don't wait for that part of you that's like capricious and doesn't want to do it. And it's just like, no, but I could do this and don't even listen to that capricious side that pretty much all of us have. That capricious side of us is like the kid in us that still just wants to play all day and just do whatever. And it just gets in the way of more rewarding things that we gain from disciplining ourselves. I have it, you have it, we all have it. Even adults, like in their 60s and 70s, they all have that, that bratty, capricious side to them. Just doesn't want to do the right thing. It's about taming that part so that you can get excellent results and things that are really great and become very rewarding. More than anything else your capricious side would want to do. It's just a matter of time and patience that most kids don't have, right? They want immediate gratification right now. Most kids have that. So if you want to get good at drawing or pretty much anything, really anything you set your mind to, whether it's drawing, writing, playing music, even academic stuff, you have to, 
you have to tame that child side of you, that capricious uh, voice that you've had since you were a kid. And when it says, no, I want to go and do this, you don't even entertain it. And without even giving it a second thought, you sit down and just do it. Just do it. And I'm still a victim of it but today. Um, despite having to achieve a lot of things here and there, it's still very common. But the more you control that, the more you just do it, the less that voice becomes important. Because you start to recognize how the benefits outweigh um, the lack of immediate gratification. The less you listen to that voice, or you give in to that part of your thought process, the more you'll accomplish, and the better you'll feel about yourself at the end of the day, because you'll know, like, man, I was so close, I was about to go and sit down and just watch some TV or something, or some binge watch, like a series or whatever, but instead, I sat down and I drew for like two hours, three hours. I finished this project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that's really important too. Self-reflection. You know, at the end of the day, what have you accomplished? And that's that's a huge, um, huge self-improvement. You'll feel better about yourself knowing that you know you did this, this, and this. You exercise, you ate well. You finished your project that you were working on. It's building blocks, you know, building blocks to help you stay motivated and continue to achieve your goals. So it really resonated with me when I saw that. I was like, man, that's so true. It's something that I had to do even previous to seeing that video of like, just not even paying attention to that voice. You know, I noticed at times where I didn't even think about it and I didn't try to rationalize how I feel about whatever it is that I know in the back of my mind I should be doing. The task became significantly easier. And just seeing that video reaffirmed it. I was like, yep, exactly. Just do it. It's like that Nike commercial, except it's not supporting uh, child labor. And sweatshops and whatnot. more insane greed. I can't even believe that's a thing. And corruption is everywhere. Not just in the States.
you guys were actually part of the Drawing Basic stream, uh, post your opinion. What do you think? Would you rather see more of the Drawing Basic stream? Like, for example, like a half hour session of the Basic stream every day, and then an hour and a half of the other streams. So like Monday, it will be a full session of drawing basics, two hours. Then Tuesday, it will be like a half hour session followed by drawing comics. Wednesday, it will be another half hour of drawing basics followed by project stream. And then Thursday, half hour of basics and an hour and a half of coloring comics. I kind of want to try that out, just because I really do enjoy that stream as well. And um, it'll give me more time still with other streams as well. Yeah, post your thoughts, share your opinion, let your voice be heard. to see if I could maybe even work instead of two hours try to work in three hours so from like 8 until 11 uh, it just really depends on my other projects so that way I could do like an hour of drawing basics and still do two hours of the other streams
where the foot is. Notice the distance, distance between the frame, the bottom of the frame and the foot. It's also something to consider. It's getting pretty hot in here. I'm gonna have to turn on the AC. Just give me a second. Now that I kind of stepped away from it, it's got very long legs, so we're gonna have to do something about that. Like erasing most of it.
very brolic guy. I'm getting bogged down by detail. Uh oh. What I should be doing is sketching out the entire drawing first. It's things like that. It's reprogramming yourself. That create change. You can always go back and adjust things in the sketch, but for now... Just to make sure everything fits properly. Everything is in proportion to each other. It doesn't have to be too exact, but just enough to... Give it a place in the frame. Using basic shapes. Pay paying attention to the space difference between objects.
now that it's kind of shaped. Got these general shapes there. I could start fleshing it out more. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. The stream is going to have to come to a close soon, guys. And this is what I'm talking about. It's just so quick. Like, right when I'm getting into it. <laughs> The stream has to end. Just not enough time in the day. Seriously. Yeah, I have to do some thinking about like how I'm gonna include drawing basics in this time change. I'd really just like to keep it to like, maybe just do three hours instead of two hours. It's just time won't allow me. wasn't too happy with the the brolic looking guy this viking character but he turned out all right in the second sketch the proportions were just way off it was very leggy All right, I'm not gonna get into detail just when I'm about to end a stream. Won't do that to myself, won't do that to you guys. Um, but I will be back later on today at 8 p.m. where I'm gonna be streaming the project stream. And after that, I will be coming back to uh, John Buscema's beautiful work at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Twitch at the Art Lounge. So make sure you check those out. Um, Subscribe, like, support the stream, be part of the Art Live community, post your questions, comments in, uh, in the social medias that I have listed on the site. 
um, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys soon.